Welcome to Nugget 295 with Stephen Dana Groman, and today we will be taking you to two unique sites in Arizona to see fossils. One you can only see in the middle of February in Tucson, and it's the Rock Minerals and Fossil Show. And I have to say, this is one of the most exciting places to see fossils from around the world. And we enjoy going there, and a lot of times people ask where we get our fossils from. For the most part, we get them from a gentleman outside of Boston and from a fossil shop in Pennsylvania and oftentimes at big shows like this because you can buy in bulk as you can see. I really enjoy trying to get fossils for a good deal from these sellers. They pay by the way to have these things shipped in so they're not really that interested in anything in particular. They're just interested in getting rid of the weight and fossils are extremely heavy so as long as they're covering their shipping cost they're happy with the sale. But there are some magnificent things to see at this show, there are thousands of vendors and dozens and dozens of tents and locations. It's not just all along I-10 in one spot. You can drive to many locations when this event happens in Tucson. These guys are dinosaur brokers and you can rent or buy one of these dinosaurs. We enjoyed this one tent that had these extremely expensive and exquisite fossils. If you have an extra $18,000 or $49,000, you can get one of these. These are so rare and huge and expensive. They didn't even have prices. They are simply amazing. This school of fish proves a catastrophe. It proves Noah's flood. And this incredible piece is uh, only $28,000. If you have that to spare, you might want to show up this February and see if it's still available. And as you can see, this incredible fossil is on sale. It was $6,375 and it's marked down to $4,375. Another interesting place to see fossils is in northern Arizona and it's west of Tuba City. There you can go see dinosaur tracks at the Tuba City track site. It's clearly marked from U.S. Highway 160. Petrified in pink and white stone, this is one of the most outstanding track sites. Not because of the prolific number of tracks, but because of the guides. The day of our visit, two Navajo boys took us across the Slick Rock, showing off the different sized three-toed dinosaur tracks. This is what was funny. They carried filled water bottles and they squirted the water into the tracks to accentuate them in the Navajo sandstone. After showing us hundreds of tracks, the boys led us back to the parking area to shop at the makeshift flea market filled with native crafts. And many of the Native Americans do not allow you to take photographs of them and their property, but it is allowed at this site. Whenever you are on native lands, be sure to understand and know what the practice on photography is. And next, we'll take you to some unique fossil sites in the state of of Utah. I was talking to a friend yesterday and she had mentioned that she was talking to a friend that did not believe in God and certainly not creation and she started talking about some things about creation and he seemed interested and so she said check out the Groman's YouTube channel and I want you to do the same. You can use this as a way to witness to people and to spread the truth of God's creation. Our YouTube channel is simply Steve Groman and hit the notification bell to be alerted when we post new nuggets and Saturday history and travel tips. If you appreciate our content, tell others and repost on your social platforms. If you appreciate these videos, partner with us on a monthly or one-time basis. Thank you.